Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorial. Somebody asked how to export stems, so I want to quickly show you my way. So in order for this trick to work, you need to name all your tracks appropriately with what they are. And they're in the order that I like. I like having drums up top, then bass, then guitars, then any keyboards, etc. And vocals are always at the bottom. Next, as you can see, I placed a marker at the beginning of my track and a marker at the end. The marker at the end is a little bit later because I'm also printing my vocal verbs and things like that. So they'll have a longer tail. Create a time selection, select all my tracks, and next, I'm going to press command option and R. You can also go to file and go to render. Here in render, I will set my source as stems, my bounds as time selection, and let's make a directory in a new folder called stems. For file names, I'm going to use a bunch of wildcards, track number and track name. So every track that Reaper is printing, it will look at its number, then it will look at its name. My sample rate is 48K. You can set it to 44.1 if that's what you're using. Bit depth is 24. Again, you can make it 16 if you need to. I also always choose online render because some plugins work better that way. And I also want to check my mix one last time, make sure when I'm rendering, nothing weird is happening. And then I will say, render 18 files. I have 18 tracks, everything checks out. And as I'm rendering online, I'm just listening to the track, making sure everything's okay. It's done. I can go show in Finder. And in my Finder, you can see that I have 18 tracks and they're all correctly named. Just to show you how they look, if I bring them over here, everything's here. It prints tracks like this with silence in the beginning and in interval so when your mixer brings it into their DAW and it could be another DAW could be Pro Tools or Logic or whatever they will all be aligned exactly as you align them in your track so that's about it thanks for watching if you like videos like this please subscribe I make a one minute tutorial every day and if you have any other questions let me know and I'll make another video for you thank you bye bye